All right, I just made the drive down into the heart of Plaquemines Parish. Just turned onto Grand Bayou Road. Gonna meet my buddy Kevin Ford to go do something called the Bayou Experience. Kevin has done this a couple times, I never have. Basically, they take you out to a camp in the middle of the marsh that is surrounded by redfish, speckled trout, shrimp, you name it crabs everything it truly is a bayou experience they're at the camp now they're heading to meet me i just gotta go to the end of this road and as you can see it's right in the middle of the marsh all right there's kevin and our host for the night man it rained all the way to jesuit bend non-stop rain non-stop from covington to jesuit bend my goodness uber hey how you doing i'm todd hey todd nice to meet you man watson watson yeah. Heard a lot about you. How yeah, you doing? How you doing? Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. So this tide rolling like this, it's gonna be like this tonight. Yeah. So you just throw right in front of that light, or you look at them, and then you just. Hey, right. We got a jubilee with redfish right now. Really? Oh, Crazy, God. huh? Yeah. Wow. Right. Just caught today, huh? Man, yeah. look at some beautiful crabs. Oh yeah, these are all selects. I like to put them in the cold water. That's what Kevin was telling me. Yeah, put them in the cold water, they'll suck blood. See how they're breeding? They sucking that season in right now. Really? Yeah, you put them in the cold water with your seasoning, and they'll breed that seasoning in. And the, when you finish boiling them in about 25 minutes, because I just turned the fire right on, bam, they already seasoned. They're and, ready to and, come and out the pot. And you don't have to soak them, really? No soaking. And I know when you do this, they don't shoot the claws off, right? That's correct. Them, yeah. That's correct. It's awesome. All right, so Captain Watson is a commercial crabber. So obviously that's one of the things he feeds guests here a whole lot. He's got a unique way of boiling them and he just kind of went through. Kevin has had them before. He said they're delicious. Man, I cannot wait to eat these crabs. They were beautiful. I don't know if you saw them, like all number ones, jumbo crabs. It's gonna be an awesome night. All right, it's getting a little late, but as you can see, the light is on down there. That's what's gonna attract the trout later. But let me show you the room I'm staying in. Right here, it's a bunk. Twin over queen. And this is the view. Really great, authentic Bayou experience. Great name for this place. All right, we've come up to a dock where the guys caught a bunch of redfish last night. It's pretty late right now. It's 10.30. <laughs> we just watched Monday Night Football. That game ended, but we've come up to this dock to see if the reds are here tonight. We really need this tide to die a little bit. It's rolling through here, but hopefully there's a few fish here. Let's see. What is that one? Where? Look, that's a fish, 100%. That's, you can throw at him. That's where they are, they're hanging around the outside of the light. Saw one? Yeah, I mean, I saw a fish. There look, look, is. look, see? There he is. You yeah, saw two. Yeah. Saw two. Well, we'll get them. Look, there's one right here, just chased me in. Yeah. That was the reds we saw, huh? Yeah. yeah, there's another one. Get it, get it, get it. Throw at him. You see him? Look, right there, right there. Yeah. You see him? Oh, there, there he is, is. there he is. <laughs> 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 How's that, Marsh Man? Uh, yeah, I was reeling in a recast. It's not the one I saw. Yeah. Nothing like sight fishing redfish at night, huh? Yeah, no doubt. Uh, what you got on the 20? Well, I got I got 30 pound braid. There we go. There he is. There you go. But I got a leader. I got a 12 pound floral leader. So okay. I got to dog him a little we good. bit. We good then, yeah. Oh, this all right, all right, there we go. Where's your tag kit? Yeah, let me go get it. All right, all right, big boy. Big, long, skinny red. There he goes. He's good. All right, there we go. How did not hit that? There's six of them right there. Is there? Yeah. There he is. Get him, Kevin. <laughs> get him, Kevin. Yeah, you got to get them from under the thing. What's so fun about this 
is you're actually sight fishing these redfish on the on the corner of the light. You can actually see them come up. But then you have to get them. Oh God! Oh, well, there he is. So then you have to. Are you got straight braid here? No, I got a leader. You got a leader, huh? Yeah, yeah, that's, like that's what I. That's right. You got to baby him a little bit. Yeah. You know the only bad thing about this night. What's that? The tide's moving too fast and we watched the Saints game. <laughs> right. Hey, but you know what? I got to tell you something. Of everybody that watched the Saints game tonight, who's having more fun than us 15 minutes after the game? Um, nobody. Certainly not Dennis Allen. <laughs> yeah. That's for sure. Oh, man. I love this place. That's a good one there. And the key is just to be really quiet because they'll actually just come up and if you just wait for five or ten minutes they're all going to come back up again and we're doing nothing there's kevin's fish catching him the there rubber stamp the rubber I'm stamp of the one i caught thing. well if he's got a yellow tag on it <laughs> right <laughs> the exact fish let's see he's about to get a yellow tag on it isn't he okay. yep all right let's tag all right, him all right todd is getting out the tagging kit I don't know why I'm narrating Todd's video. <laughs> You're free, buddy. Difficult. Somebody's uh, drugs. Oh, that's my anti-diarrheal. <laughs> <laughs> Great. All right, there goes Todd with the kid. All right. You got a radio it. beacon on that? Ah, no. That'd be <laughs> nice. <laughs> Figure that. out where he goes. There he goes. So how many did you see? Oh, there's one. <laughs> you saw him? Yeah. Don't come back up. It'll be like up and there's one right there. You should. <laughs> it, oh, there he goes. There he goes. That didn't take long. <laughs> they hit so hard. Yeah, big thump. This has got to be a big one. Yeah, he's going into the train. Yeah. Dude. He's bigger than the last one I caught, I'll tell you that. Where he ate his Wheaties. Yeah. Let me narrate for you. Todd is having to go around the poles and chase this redfish that has decided to go the other way. Have we even seen him? No, I haven't seen him. Have not laid eyes on him. Might not even. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Uh-oh. There we go. All right, he came back out. Don't want to give up, huh? Uh-uh, he's close. There we go. Now we got him. All right. Yeah, that's a pretty red. He's really, oh, he's fat, really he? pretty. <laughs> the <Wow>. conveyor belt. <laughs> this is awesome. I tell you what. The Bayou experience is a true, authentic Bayou experience. Get out here and do this if you can. Nice and cool, really no bugs at all. And just incredible, incredible fish in action. Awesome. Oh, there's one, Kevin. No, I don't see him anymore, but he was on the outside of the light. Yeah, they sleep. They like to stay in that little edge. Little edge, yeah. Uh -oh. You got him, yeah. Wait, I thought it was your turn. No, 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 no. It's your turn. Go ahead. But this one's going the other way. Well, that's good. Oh, oh my God, look at that. Yeah, we can find him right here. Although I really want to get him on this side. They are all rubber stamps, huh? Yeah. The good thing about this is with the tide, they wear out pretty quick. Yeah. You got four spots on them, buddy. Oh, come on. That's a young one. That's actually a good eater right there. Yeah, that one's yeah. one of the smaller ones we've yeah. caught. And he's going to come right in. He wants to get tagged. No, he doesn't. <laughs> I'm scared him for you. <laughs> there we go. We got him. God, right. they're so fat. Yeah, they butterball. That one is fat. Yeah, this one. Kind of yeah, I had one that was skinny. but he's sliding right off. You know. All right. Goodbye. There we go. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we're back at the camp. 
I'm gonna kind of whisper because we got people here who are sleeping. You can see the setup, got lights all along here. I'm throwing this little bitty swim bait, Tsunami. Kevin said this was a really good bait last night. You like this thing straight retrieved or what? Just kind of just tripping, just straight like a little, like oh, that. Oh, I got smoked. Just tap yeah, it okay. like that, like that. See, look at that one. Get him, Kevin. What do you have on? Same thing you do. Okay. Same thing you do. Oh, there he is. There. Oh. <laughs> you all right? Yeah, thank God I don't use it. <laughs> Kevin is now singing soprano. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's bleeding bloody murder. Uh, we're oh, oh, there he is. There he is. My girlfriend sent me a text message. I can't believe this. So what's, what's going to happen, Todd, is that they're going to, when this tide slows down and changes, yeah. they're going to get bigger. Is that trout we're seeing? Yeah, it's trout. Ooh, that was a big trout came up. Oh, it's trout like crazy. You got a bigger one? Yeah, you got a nice one. Real nice one. This Todd is about to get whacked right here. <laughs> now he wants to be a little bit closer. He wants to. <laughs> <laughs> didn't take much of a guess there, did it, Todd? No, it didn't. You pretty much called it, Kevin. But let me show you the difference. All right, go ahead. Kevin's going to catch a big one. Because yeah, you cast it a little bit further out, I'm going to cast right down here. And later on tonight, these fish are going to be coming out from under this pier. Now we did this all last night. And never caught a redfish. Well, let me tag him. All right. Might be legal next time for my outfit. Yeah. Yeah, he's not legal. I thought that was a fish busting. Right, oh, there he is. Doubling up, doubling up. And these are the smallest. Yeah. Start later. I mean, they're all, not all, but mostly legitimate keepers. Look at this one just threw up, Kevin. Look at this. A bogey or a glass, glass minnow. minnow? Yeah. Look at that. Eating the heck out of glass minnows. Almost perfectly correlates with this. Almost perfectly. Yeah, this is literally as easy as it gets. It does not get any easier. Cast out, shake your rod on the retrieve, dodge Kevin's lure. Oh, and there he is. And there, oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good speckled trout on my ultralight. Yeah, it's a real good trout. Yes, there we go, Kevin. Seems to work fine for me. It's a good fish. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> uh, that won't make TV. <laughs> I don't know, look what he threw up. Oh, look how little this one was, Kevin. Look at this one that he ate. Look at this. Oh, God, that's, that's incredible. He threw that one up and that one. Well, take that back. That's a good one. Get him, Kevin. All right, our tide has slowed dramatically. Kevin says these fish are gonna go crazy when it changes, but it is now 12.30, so I'll be sleeping. I'm heading up to go to bed. Kevin's still fishing. He'll be fishing until 3.30 in the morning, no doubt about it. Coming in that early? <laughs> 3.30 in the morning, I'll be fishing in my dreams, I promise you, but what an amazing place. This is so awesome. Oh, I saw him hit it. I saw him hit it. It's not a monster, but... These fish have gotten small with this week of tide, but they're going to get big again. Or at least the bigger fish will begin biting when that tide starts really, really rolling. But give Watson a call. Name of the place. Look, I'll show you. The Bayou Experience right here on the table. <laughs>